Dr. Miller, when Gore first consulted with you about the Gore C3 delivery system, what were some of the unmet needs that you saw in your practice at the time? Yeah, Willie, I think uh, I was pretty excited about it when I first heard about it and understood what it was going to allow us to do. Just the deployment accuracy and reproducibility with the C3 mechanism compared to the prior iteration of the device was a tremendous difference and it just changed what we did in the operating room and saved us, I think, time. When we started to design the C3 delivery system, the attributes that we wanted to include, we wanted an option to reposition the device. And we knew we couldn't do that without having some sort of mechanism to uh, constrain the uh, proximal end of the, the excluder trunk to get the anchors disengaged from the aortic wall and allow you as a physician to be able to maneuver the device and reposition it. But we didn't want to make it required because we didn't want to lose the simplicity and the efficiency of the original simple delivery system or deployment mechanism. We didn't need to change um, stent design and graft material. In fact, those were some of the parameters that we put around our design team is to keep those the same. The thing that we needed to change was how the device was deployed in order to give uh, you as a physician uh, more control and, and more confidence. What's unique with your R&D that's allowed this device to be repositionable that no one else has been able to duplicate that? I think we were we are uniquely positioned, no pun intended, <laughs> to have this repositionable feature on our AAA device because it's an infrarenal fixation um, design. We don't have to think about or, or even deal with um, super renal proximal fixation or, or any stents that are above the graft material. Inferenal fixation and inferenal seal are the design attributes that are most important. That allowed us to make significant changes to the delivery system without impacting the form fitter function of the, the device once it is implanted. As you know, you know, I've been involved with the Great Registry for a number of years in leadership role as a national PI for the United States. Uh, and early on, some of the first data that we accumulated within the Great Registry was from the experience in Europe when the C3 delivery system was released. Uh, and I know Eric Verhoeven very well, who led that, and I saw his experience throughout Europe that I heard from the investigators there being so positive. So it gave me a lot of confidence when I used the device. This was the first module and it was the first publication, uh, first peer review publication. Part of it was they were going to evaluate not just how they repositioned in the neck, but for gate cannulation. And they found really they didn't need it as much for gate cannulation. It was nice when they did want it, but it was really most valuable for the accurate deployment in aortic neck. Yeah, and I think when I think about the device, you know, some of the benefits, you know, the durability and patency of the limbs has always been, I think, remarkable. You know, my experience as an implanting physician and working with Gore for a long period of time, you guys are very thoughtful with new iterations of devices and thoughtful when you come out with new technology. But this was, I think, a change that many of us received in a very positive way.